What's up, guys? This is Jason from Cool Home. Today, I'm going to introduce you the basic of Cool Home, which is a super fast and easy to use interior design and render program. In this three-part video, I will show you how to create a 3D model of a floor plan, then add some furniture, added materials, and render some images. Let's get started. First, let's go to Cool Home website, sign up for a free account, and log in. So right now, what you're seeing is our project platform. In here, you can see your projects. You can also go to your personal library for uploaded models and textures. Let's go ahead and create a new project. So there are four ways to create a project. You can draw from scratch. You can also search for floor plan, upload a CAD file, or upload an image of a floor plan. Today, we'll just create a floor plan based on the image we imported. Make sure a floor plan image has a measurement to use as a reference. When importing, you can select the area of image that you wanted to import by using cropping tool. Then you can choose either draw from scratch on top of the image or let the cool home automatically recreate the plan for you. Next step, you need to adjust the ruler to match an existing dimension of the drawing. Since the units here is in meters, let's go to the upper right corner, click on the settings and switch the unit between the matrix and imperial. Type in the dimension show on the image, then click finish. So with the skill set, we can start building the walls. Adding walls is easy in Cool Home. Go to the left side panel, click on the walls, drag and drop on the plan, and start tracing. Connecting the walls, and now you have a room. Let's go ahead and finish the rest of the plan. You can see every time you enclose the space with the walls, Cool Home automatically generates the room for you. And on the right side panel, you can see the room properties. Click on it, and you can assign a room name or typing yourself. Let's adjust the wall thickness. Click on the wall. You can adjust the thickness looking on the right side property panel. You can slide the wall to move its location. Type in the thickness you want or simply adjusting it manually. With the plan set, let's add some doors. Drag and drop from the left side panel. You can flip or replace the door. You can also similarly adjust the size of the door opening by adjusting its length, thickness, and height on the right side panel. Make a copy of it and add it to other walls. Same apply for the windows. Let's place some windows on the wall. You can also type in dimensions to change the location of the window. Similarly, windows has its own property as well, which you can see and adjust in the right side panel. Now we have finished adding the doors and windows. Let's take a look in 3D. At the bottom of the window, you can switch between 2D and 3D, or by pressing number 2 and 3 on the keyboard. If you don't like the look or the style of the elements, you will see a lot of options from Kuhong's model library from the left. Just choose the one you like, it's easy to swap models without deleting it. Another way to add or swap model is by drag and dropping the models on top of the wall. Not just 3D models, the textures can also be swapped in the library as well. Click on the texture in the library and drop it on the floor. Now we have the 3D model building based on the floor plan we have imported, just under a few minutes. 